How's it going folks? This is Wayne R back for another lesson and an absolutely gorgeous song today. No surprises by Radiohead. Uh, I've got a few Radiohead songs up. I'm a big fan of Radiohead, particularly the albums, you know, the Benz and OK Computer. This is a track off OK Computer. Um, this is a capoed version, sort of mixing the little melody in with the chords. It's not too difficult to play. It's a great fun one, great song to get down. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so this song is in standard tuning, but you're going to want the capo on the third fret, okay? And I'll just go over the little picking part, you know, the intro part, and basically you start off it as a rounded D chord. Now, if we take a regular D chord, we're going to pick the, the top E string, then we're going to pick the G, and then B, and then G again. So we've got E, G, B, G, E, G, B, G, E, G, B, G. And then we're going to do an open G, and I'm going to take the second finger and put it on the third fret on the G string and then put the G, B and the E string. So if we put that together we've got... Okay, I think it does that four times for the intro and then we're going to start strumming the chords. Okay, so we're going to start with a D chord, so... Oh, that's full of like a... And then we're going to want the chord, which is called the D minor flat 6. And that's basically taking your, from a D chord, your first finger and moving it to the second fret relative to the capo on the A string. So that's your second chord in the verse. So we've got a... Oh, that's... Full of like a landfill, a job that slowly kills you. Now we want the E minor seven, so that's basically an E minor chord, and you want your third finger on the third fret relative to the capo on the B, little finger third fret on you know on the top E string relative to the capo. That gives us an E minor seven. And then we're going to want uh, an A chord. Now I do a lazy A chord where it's easier to do here. Where I basically do an A chord by using the pad of my finger. And then I'm going to use my second finger to get an A sus4. That's putting the second finger on the third fret on the B string. So I'll just play that through so you can see how all this fits in. So we've got the D. So we've got a heart that's full of black that slowly kills you on an A to an A so slow and then we want that second chord that we did in the intro with the picking which is a B flat minor 6 so that's just you know from a D chord we keep his third finger on as an anchor and we're just lifting the second finger up putting that on the third fret on the G string. So you look so tired and happy bring down the government all they don't they don't speak for us I Quiet life, a handshake of carbon monoxide. Okay, this is where we're going to the chorus. So we want E minor, no alarm, and then the A and the A sus. No surprises, no alarms, and no surprises. One more time. We want the intro chords, which is a silent, silent. Okay, then we've got verse two, which is a little bit different. We start on that D chord. This is my final bit. Okay, so after that D chord, we're going to put his little finger on the fourth fret on the A string, obviously relative to the capo. Um, so we've got this. 
this is my final bit of... Okay, and then we've got the second chord which we'd normally do in the verse, which is the D minor flat six. My final belly ache with... We've got another chorus which is the E minor A, A sus four, so no alarms, no surprises. Okay, and then we've got a little bridge part where it does an A chord to that one, you know, the second chord that we do in the intro, which is a B flat minor six. So we got a, which is quite easy if you do a regular A chord, you're just going to take that first finger off and slide those two across. So we got a. Does that twice. And then we want the E minor 7 to the same chord, and then we into a D. Such a pretty house and such a pretty garden. Okay, then we've got the last chorus, which is the E minor A, A sus 4. So no alarms and no surprises. Got sort of the you know just the same chords as the intro that you know, D to the B flat minor six it's nice to pick that you know though that last sequence on that second chord and then finish it on the D chord okay so that just leaves us with the strumming pattern so we got now the strumming pattern I tend to sort of, I've sort of improvise it a little bit throughout the song because it does change a little bit. But on most of the the chords that go sort of a bar, I can sort of go down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. So we got a down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. So. Chords that go half a bar go down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Okay, so a down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So we've got a down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. all you're going to need for the song okay so thanks very much for watching out you all dug that i absolutely adore that song i think it's an absolutely gorgeous song and it's off one of my favorite albums which is okay computer by radiohead uh, if anyone's got any other requests for radiohead songs i've got a couple up already uh, one being high and dry which is one of my favorites if you want to check that out but uh, but any songs you know not just radiohead songs in general i take requests you know pretty much 50s to modern day within reason I mean, as I always say, I'm not going to do a 15-minute prog song or a, some soppy pop song, but, uh, you know, cool, really cool songs that work well on acoustic guitar. That's what we're talking, you know. My fans know what the kind of things that I do. Um, but, you know, I'm a big Manchester music fan, so if you are new to me, there's loads of sort of Manchester stuff up, you know, Oasis, the Stone Roses, the Smiths, or, you know, all the great bands. I've covered quite a lot of those lessons. Um, but there's loads of sort of obscure ones, 80s, a lot of 80s stuff up there and stuff basically that works really well if you are, you know, a, a singer guitarist or a busker or you're in a band, all these songs work great, you know. Uh, so, I hope you, you know, you really enjoyed that. Uh, 
I'd just like to say, you know, those who haven't subscribed, if you, if you are new to me, please do, you know, what I've just talked about, go and check all those lessons out. Uh, if you do want a request, you can either leave a comment in the post below or a good way to reach me, as a lot of people do these days. If you go over and like my Facebook page, which is Wayne R Guitar, then you can send me a personal request, as long as it's a nice message, mind. Okay, and that just leaves me to say, you know, have a great morning, day, night, whenever it is you're watching, and I'll catch you for another lesson very soon. Take care.